Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we are going to cover the OpenAI automated speech recognition AI model named Whisper. I decided to cover the command line Whisper tool in this video to explain you how you can load the different types of Whisper models such as tiny, base, small, medium and the large and apply this model on various source languages, audio such as English, Hindi and Japanese along with MP3 and MP4 content and, and perform both transcribe and translate options to your input video to generate the results in the form of text or in the form of subtitles which include the timestamp and the text. Once you have understood the various functionalities are available with the Whisper command line tool, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you could create the Gradio UI based full functional application to use the UI to load various models, load source content, whether from your disk MP3 or MP4 file, or you could use the YouTube video or any online mp4 or mp3 content to apply the whisper ai model to perform both transcribed and translate along with various different models such as transcribing or the decoding using whisper and finally generate the output in the form of plain text or in the form of vtt or srt subrip subtitle format there is a lot to learn in this video and even more to learn in the next video. Let's get ourselves started. To get yourself started with Whisper, first what you need is that you need to install the Whisper. And here is the GitHub repo. So we are going to install Whisper by using the repos. So here I do have the Google Colab environment with a notebook running. So we are going to use the pipe command with pip here to install whisper and this machine already has the whisper installed so that's why you see that requirement already set satisfied and you can verify it by pip show whisper here whisper is installed then we can actually check the command whisper and help that shows that the whisper is available as a command tool for us and some of these options along with whisper the important options are the task transcribe or translate so when the transcribe is the default speech recognition happen or when you would want to translate from one language to other only the output language as the english supported then you can use the transcribe if you will not provide the task then the transcribe will be used the language if you will not provide the language then the language detection is going to happen after this google collab environment was ready i have created this source file in this content folder here and i have already uploaded the video and three different audio files one in hindi one in japanese and one in english so we are going to use the whisper command with all of these files First, here is our story.mp3 in source files folder at the content. Then after we are displaying the same audio using the display method available in ipython.display. It was a Thursday, but it felt like a Monday to John. And John loved Mondays. He thrived at work. He dismissed the old cliche of dreading Monday. You can get an idea that story.mp3 is an English file. Now we are going to use the whisper command. We are going to pass the audio. Here is the audio as input. And if you do not provide the model parameter, by default, the small model will be used. So here is the model. The small model will be used. We can look into the details. By default, the small model is size this because small is the default so i will be using the medium model and then after i will just let whisper to detect the language of this story.mp3 very first time when you are going to run this command the model will be downloaded it's about 1.2 gig or 1.4 gig 
but the model has already been downloaded in this Jupyter notebook. That's why we do not see that message. Second, because we are not providing the language. So the 30 second content has been taken from this file to detect the language. Then after the transcribe process is happening right now, which is the default method. And here is the output related with our story.mp3. And I have already played it. As you could see, warnings used to engage in a water cooler complaints about the crime and the empty conversations that included the family pattern. How was your weekend? Too short. Yes, John liked his work and was unshamed. So you can get an idea. Now, if we take the same command and we are going to use the small model. Now you see the results. The small model has already been downloaded in this machine. That's why we do not see that message also. And here are the results. Now, if we are going to use this same model and now we try to perform the transcribe method here. So we could say dash dash task and the trans, sorry, this was the transcribe. So let's do translate. If we would have provide the options such as language, and EN or the English, we would have saved some of the time to detect the language. And here is the translate result for the story.mp3 using medium. One thing I wanted to show you is that whenever we were using this story.mp3 in this content folder, these three different files are generated. It means whenever you are going to use the whisper command in the output folder by default. So output for the Google Colab is the content folder. So in the content folder, we are getting these SRT files. So the SRT file is the sub file for your sub subtitle related to the, that's what you are seeing here is the text along with the timestamp. So the whisper command is always going to generate these three output depending on your source code. So that's why we are getting a story.mp3 dot srt dot txt and dot vtt if you would want to take a look at, at this content so we could say cat and content here are the srt contents then if you would want to look into the txt all the text file without any content and if you would want to use the vtt which is another format for the subtitles so first srt is the sub rip and here is the vtt so we have looked the content for story.mp3. Now I would wanted to show you that how we could take the another language. And this time we are going to use the file called bharat.mp3, which is the Hindi language file. So let's set here. Here is our file and I will be using the same content this too. Bharat A. This is in Hindi. Now we are going to use the same command. So let's use the this part. Whisper. And we are going to use the bharat.mp3 model will be the medium. Task, I will not provide the task first, but I will provide the language Hindi and Hindi is the HI code. And in order to learn more about the language supported, you can go and look into the tokenizer.py and here you will see the language and its code supported by the open AI whisper model. And here you could see the code for Hindi is HI. So I am using the language is Hindi, which is going to save some of our time. And we are using the medium model for the whisper to transcribe it first by default. And because this model is medium, which is a large model about size 1.4 gig, that's why it is generating a large memory block to load the model so that it can process the input file. And make sure that you understand that this file is in Hindi and we are transcribing right now, which is a default option. And you can also keep an eye here that as soon as the whisper res results will be completed, you will see that files will be generated here. They so now you could see that this is the Hindi is, is really being generated as an output. And as you could see here, these three files are generated as a result of this whisper. SRT, subrip, VTT and the text. So if you would want to look into the text here, we could say 
at content bharat dot mp3 dot txt and all the text related with this content if you would want to check the srt we can also see here in subrip and here are the 0 0 second to 18 second and 18 second to 30 second now if we use the same command and difference between the transcribe and the translate so we will provide the task is translate and let's see the result this is hindi to hindi and the translate will become hindi to english and all that bharat dot mp3 srt txt and vtt they all will be updated with this command result and here you could see that this is in hindi and this is in english so if we look into the mp3 this is all changed if we look into the srt everything has been changed it means what was the input hindi has been converted to the english now because our task was translate so transcribe and translate very easy and very important distinction between when you are using whisper now i will be using the third file which is the miyuki koso which is in japanese so that was the japanese input now we are going to use this command and here we are still using the medium because medium model is almost like the second last in size large is super large but again you know you can give a good check depending on what your real objective is to find what is the best but definitely the bigger the model better the results no doubt so here we are going to use the miyuku also that's our source file and the language will be the japanese and task let's do not provide the task first so let's use the transcribe first and here the language is a ja for japanese code so by providing the input language we are saving just a little time so language detect but language verification does happen and there you go similar to hindi when we were performing the transcribe method hindi text was generated here you could see that japanese text is being generated now we could perform the translate so the task is going to be translate and that's where you are going to see that japanese to english translation is going to be added here so the same model is used to generate the english or the source language transcribe result and the translated result into the english and here is the translated results for the same content you can get a very good idea about how the same whisper model is used to perform the transcribe as well as the translate methods now in the fourth example we are going to use this welcome.mp4 which is the mp4 it means it your machine must need the ffmpeg installed so let's use the content here so content is going to be the welcome dot mp4 so that's the content i just wanted to make sure that it is actually from my channel this file is actually is what this welcome dot mp4 about three minutes and 11 seconds so that is what i have saved as a compressed mp4 and uploaded at post file google folder google collab so i will be using the command this this will be the welcome dot mp4 model is medium language is english and let's do the transcribe oh sorry welcome dot mp4 let's say stop run again the input language is english model is medium and the content is welcome dot mp4 does work and here you could see that music is not a problem in the background but the text has been easily transcribed by this model but with the larger model the results are even better so if i use the same and look for large a bigger model will be downloaded and will be used to perform the transcribe operation and then you will see the results and as you could see the difference between the medium model here is the medium and here is the large model you could see the bigger the model the results are even more granular and looking into the results you could see that some of the words has been recognized better 
like the prod ramp is here recognized as a program versus here it's recognized as a rob ramp so at least far better than program and there are various other changes can also be detected and one big difference is that here you see that is the gp at v together ventures versus with this large model v together ventures so that's a real name so you could see a very big difference between large model as well as the medium model but big difference is that the larger the model it's going to use the larger memory to load and twice x or the more than twice time it's gonna be slower so it's your choice you would want to have the bad results but you are going to spend a lot more memory and longer processing time and similar to other mp3s the mp4 also has the srt txt vtt so if you would want to convert from english to hindi then this model is not going to work because this model is not going to change other language this model can take the given language and translate into the english only so if you want to expedite the delivery you can actually use the dot en so that's going to only use the model but which supports only english as a source language and english as a target language that is also explained here but large does not have the english model besides large all other four models they have their english only model as well so this example was dedicated to the use of open ai whisper command line utility not only the commands which you are using here you can also perform the same command on your local file system as you could see that i am using the base model to perform the transcribe for the bharat.mp3 and here you could see that some of the model using the base model transcribe happen this way but in the next video i'm going to show you how you could create the full working gradio based ui to select a model depending on your need then load the model you can also use the youtube url so you could load the youtube url first you can play here as you could see and then you can select all the files whether they are mp4 or mp3 load the content then you can choose whether you would want to perform the transcribe or the decode select the language and choose whether you would want to transcribe or the translate method so this is different this is little more coding specific work and finally you can convert your video to text here is the text depending on your mp3 and you can also get the debug information about how different tensors tokens everything is generated the segments related with your content all of this is going to be covered in the next video where we are going to build a python based application this is the application which we are going to build in the next video and you are going to learn massive amount of coding in python to build the gradio app to create a ui around the open ai whisper ai model the content which we have covered today is going to be pushed at the deepworks public github repo the notebook which we have created today is available at this deepworks github repo within the folders open ai whisper and the command line whisper this video gives you everything you need to build the various application on top of open ai whisper ai model and the very first example of creating a full functional app is going to be covered in the next video so i do appreciate your time spending with me in this video and i am looking forward to seeing you in my next video until then thank you so much